Hello everyone, ARG back with some more Franchise Key Manager 8 and today in the world of alternate universe future Aki of the Alawa Senators we are going to continue on our path to hopefully one day win the Stanley Cup. Alright, so we are in August of 2023 in my last stream slash video I had my friend FJ join in and we targeted some free agents we targeted some rookies with some dis <laughs> discutable <laughs> parameters to get them uh, but we still went with uh, what we thought was the best course of action and august should be pretty quiet to be honest um, i'm not expecting too much uh, movement there now to recap for those who missed the last video, uh, the Ottawa Senators now have Patty Kane. So we signed Patrick Kane to a 1.88 million deal, but just for one year. Hey, FJ, what's up? I was just talking about you. Your ears might have been ringing. So the Suns are going to have Patty Kane for one year. Uh, he's still productive. He had 86 points in 82 games last season. So we are going to be relying on him to, until my other right wingers on the team kind of develop and everything. So one year doesn't tie me up for too long. I really like this deal. Oh dear God. <laughs> I'm sure uh, I'm sure you heard a lot of uh, Dodgers fans being kind of upset at that. Alright, so without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and advance here again. I don't think August is going to be littered with a whole bunch of news. For sure. So FG, are you are you excited for tomorrow? Oh, there's been a trade between the Flyers and the Panthers. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, the Flyers get rid of the Rasmus Ristolainen contract. They send it to the Panthers for in exchange for Brendan Montour. I think I like Montour better than Ristolainen. I think the Panthers uh, didn't get the best in that one. That's tomorrow that you get to know if the abs end up with Shane Wright. It's the draft lottery. All right, so the Devils have put Andre Palat on the trading block, and funny enough, Tampa Bay is rumored to be in the race for that. That is correct, sir. That is correct. So it's gonna be interesting to see which teams win the lottery. Now, historically, the Rangers and the Sabres—sorry, uh, the Rangers uh, and the Oilers—have been really lucky with that. So now the Rangers can be in there. <laughs> uh, well, that would definitely help Montreal to get a centerman like that. Like, if he's absolutely ready to jump in the league and start playing. Now, as I'm talking about this, I am obviously simming days in August where absolutely nothing happens. August is always pretty much the slowest month in the NHL. Oh, there's been another trade from the Flyers. This time they traded with Boston. Jackson Cates goes to Boston for Dustin McFall. 
Not a not a big trade. Not a not a big trade. That's for sure. We sure do. Uh, as it stands, we are seventh. So we have a 6.5% chance to win the no to win the first uh, first pick. But historically, the Sands have always gone backwards. We have never went, went forward. We have been very snake bitten with the lottery. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm gonna miss you, man. Are there a lot of bridges in Norway? I know nothing about Norway, really. Sam Annis uh, has been put on the block by Detroit. Oh, it takes forever to sim August and nothing happens. What did you think of the Barry Trotz firing today? Dude, don't do that. That's, that would be terrible. I know you're just joking, at least hopefully you are, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it was kind of silly as well. I mean, you can only give so many players over the, the age of 35 to a coach and expect great things, right? <laughs> All right, so here's a 45-year-old defenseman and another one that's 39, and I want them in the top six. Ooh, Pierre Engvall moves to Vegas. So Toronto made a trade with Vegas. Pierre Engvall goes to Vegas for Chandler Stevenson. Ooh. And hope that they don't screw it up like they did with Katkaniemi. Ooh, former Ottawa Senator Max Lajoie has been put on the block by Carolina. August is almost over. The start of September is going to be pretty slow as well. Then at least we have, you know, training camp. So. Yeah, he was hyped up because reasons, I guess. I don't know. And it's not the kid's fault. He got hyped up like right before the draft and Montreal really needed a center. And they just fed into the uh, the over hype. Frankie Vetrano. Man, the more I think about it, the 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 least that i think that bergeron was great bergeron made some pretty good trades i'll give him that but pretty much anything else at, at his job he was you know well below average at 
but I, I'll give him that. He made some pretty good trades. The Deno trade was pretty awesome. Of course, the Paxiority trade was pretty awesome as well. He did make some pretty good trades, but his drafting, development, signings, contract negotiations, nah. Oh, Jared Spurgeon has been put on the block by the Wild. If somebody's looking for a defenseman that's going to cross-check players in the ankles while the ankles are, are, as an, uh, are uh, along the ice. And, uh, and apparently it's only worth a fine, too. Good grief, I hate playoff re officiating. Oh, thank God. I never knew why you got hired. I didn't see that. I only saw the Barry Trotz thing. Pierre Maguire got fired by the Suns. Well, good thing. I, I never knew why he was signed. Like, he was a Melnick guy, and Melnick died, so I guess... Like, he was supposed to be there for public relations or something, mm -hmm. and I never saw his fucking face in front of a camera. All right, there's been a trade between Vancouver and Nashville. Uh, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Davies goes to Vancouver for in exchange for Matt Martin. Not a not a big trade. Yep, pretty much. All right, we're slowly getting t towards training camp. That is crazy to me. I have no idea what he what his job was. And the funny thing is that, you know, I frequent some sense boards and everything. Nobody knows what his actual role was supposed to be. It was like very weird. But yeah, I'm pretty hyped up to see what's going to happen for the draft lottery tomorrow. And then of course the draft. Well, do you want to continue it or do you want to try something else? Maybe I give you a challenge. You always like to give me challenges and I accepted one and I streamed it and I won it too. And it was not necessarily an easy one too. I took it at face value and I ran with it. Maybe, I, maybe I'm gonna give you a challenge. Well, I have to think about it. I, I, I don't want to make it like super like not super simple. I, I I want to put some thought into it. I'll get back at you maybe on Discord or something. Or maybe I'm going to re-import my my pro rel universe with uh, the four leagues and everything and i'm gonna tell you to start at the bottom and you're gonna need to work your way up all the way to the top and win there maybe that's gonna be my challenge i don't know all right the most uh, jerseys sold for the month of august for the Suns: patty kane first drake batterson thomas shabbat matt murray and sim stutzel and you know, Need Redder is uh, losing some acceleration a year. And uh, most jerseys sold in the most, ma, month of August in the entire league is Austin Matthews again. Mikhail Maltsev signed with Colorado. And then there's been a trade between Toronto and Anaheim. Chandler Stevenson goes to Anaheim for a third round draft pick. So Toronto traded Pierre Engvall for Chandler Stevenson, then they flipped him for a third. So yeah, maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to re-import my 
universe and I'm going to create it as a quick start and I'll share it with you and maybe you need to win in that universe. It's a puni punitive one. Nolan Stevens been put on the trading block by the wild and Matthew Joseph, who is an Ottawa senator, is in real life, uh, but not in my save, uh, extended with Tampa Bay. So he is still playing for the Lightning. All right, I'll give you a challenge for now. Start with the Montreal Expos in 1997 and win the World Series before they move to Washington. That's going to give you seven years. That should be plenty of time to turn things around. In 1997, you're not going to have a very good team. You're going to have a couple decent players. You're going to have a small market. You're not going to have a whole lot of money. And even your prospect pool is not going to be all that great. Here's your challenge for now. Okay, well, you can go ahead and do that in the challenge that I just gave you. It shouldn't be as... I think you have a shot at winning it. I didn't make it super complicated. I just know that the 1997 Expos are not really good. And I know that, you know, your budget and everything is not going to get much better. But if you draft well and everything, you might be able to scrape uh, through a World Series before the end. And you're going to have to contend with a couple teams in your division that are going to be pretty strong. So that is your challenge, sir. I don't know enough about like when the Expos first joined the league. So I'm giving you that challenge for now. And then I'm going to work on my universe. And then I'll share that with you. And that's going to be my true challenge. It's gonna be it's gonna be a hard one, but it's gonna be fair. All right, now a little bit more towards what we, it is that we are doing at the moment. We are slowly getting towards training camp. September is, oh God, Shea Weber looks weird. He's almost smiling on that picture. That is definitely not a real picture of Shea Weber. I don't think that man has ever smiled. Sure, if you think you're gonna have the money for him, I'm going to be here laughing. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. David Rittich is uh, has been put on the block by Nashville. Hey man, if you do it, that's cool. Like I said, I I think that you have a shot at at that challenge. I don't think it's I don't think it's the most crazy challenge one can give to somebody. 
Oh, there's been a trade between the Blues and the Maple Leaves. Nico Mikola goes to the Leaves for the rights to Tristan Bertucci. That is true. That is correct. So, so if I, if you do that challenge, are you gonna go with uh, players progressing with using recalc, or are you gonna use the engine to develop players? Man, I've been at it for 20 minutes and there's not a whole lot that has happened. No, I hate recalc with a passion. I like surprises. I like that in my expo save, Brett Barbary became a, a okay player for a while instead of being pretty much just a uniform filler like he was in real life but of course you know the, the on the other side Jeff Facero never developed and he was kind of not good for me oh Matt Zuccarello has been put on the block in Minnesota and then there's been a trade between Colorado and Vancouver. Jacob McDonald goes to Vancouver for the rights to Andrew Strutman. So we're seeing small trades here in September. No, uh, no blockbusters. Super mats. Oh, Matt Zuccarello, of course. Ha! Ah. Sorry, for me, I'm a nerd, so when you said mats, the first word that comes to mind for me is materials, like in video games. Took me a second to realize that you were talking about Zuccarello. He's already 36 in my universe, so that means he's like 34 in real life. In a few days here, I'm going to recall everybody for training camp. I don't know that I have many openings uh, on the team. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. He ought to be the most popular Norwegian player to have ever played. I mean... Uh, we talked about that the only other well one of the like patrick torson i think was norwegian and then there was eastman knutson and then we talked about the incident with eastman knutson and i might not be pronouncing his name right barbecue to atuendo for william carrier so william carrier burned himself on his barbecue he plays in boston now Okay. <laughs> There's probably no way for a French Canadian to pronounce the cor pronounce it the correct way, huh? All right, Drew O'Connor has been put on the block by Pittsburgh, and now is when no, not now. I'm gonna wait one more day, then I'm gonna recall everybody. We 
then we're gonna have some preseason hockey. Yes, I'm gonna come from here. All right, Mads Sogard. Given Mandalese. already signed. Man, my kingdom for a recall everybody button. Oh, look at that. ESPN nuts and... <laughs> So look at that, remember, like, uh, you told me that Jake Sanderson was only a three-star player in the uh, potential in that game, and that's what he started at for me too, but he grew to be a four-and-a-half-star potential defenseman now. That's a lot more interesting. Maxence Guinnett. Is that really his nickname, or did you just come up with that? With that? I haven't heard that. <laughs> okay. That works, that's fine. So I got that Mason Shaw guy on waivers. I think out of Nashville. And he's been pretty good for me. He had 66 points in 70 games last season and he's a three and a half star potential. Not too bad for a guy that you get on waivers. Oh, sorry about that, that took forever. All right, let's go ahead and advance now. Now let's see if Patty Kane can get a hat trick against New Jersey to get things started in preseason against the Devils. The Devils is the type of team that you get a hat trick against to get your new season going with your new team. That's like probably the perfect opponent to do that against. Right, let's take a quick look at the Devils, see what they look like two years from now. Right, so in net they have uh, Nico Dawes, uh, Akira Schmid, Vincent Fillion, and Fabio Jacobo. Right, and then on D they have Graves, Ty Smith, Muke Modulin, Michael Dion Thompson, P.K. Subban is still there, Damon Siverson, Walsh, Odelius. Palat, Miles Wood, Kokanen, Boquist, Miedema, Amblin, Laberge, Colin White that I traded there, McLeod, Nico Isher, Jack Hughes, Dawson Mercer, Gardiner, Bedini, Morrison Hood, V. Brett, Sharangovic, Petya Cote, Mignosa, Lavoie, and Zufu. Right, they have a lot of tryouts. Alright, we have some action going now. 
Oh, Patty Kane playing with Josh Norris and Brady Kachuk. That sounds like a pretty good line to me. All right, Ottawa's in New Jersey. We're going to have Mad Sogard in net for the Sens. Fabio Jacobo is going to be in net for New Jersey. And go, Sens, go! A 2-1 to one win. We will take it. Definitely not a hat-trick for Pat Patrick Kane. We all shot New Jersey, 30-21. to 21. Brady Kachuk was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Ty Smith was the second star with an assist. And Josh Norris was the third star with an assist. Um... We scored both of our goals in the first period. Brady Kachuk scored from Josh Norris and then Eric Brandstrom from Brady Kachuk and Drake Batterson. It was a 2-0 lead for the Sands after one. New Jersey scored in the second period. And then that was it. That's pretty good. That's the season you won the World Series. That you did that. Great night for Anthony Manta in Washington. He had two goals and four assists against the Flyers. Pretty good indeed. Oh, Nazem Kadri to, uh, got hurt for six months in Colorado. That happened, happened against Buffalo. He has a broken kneecap. Yeah, that, that ought to hurt. All right. You don't have to remind me about the salary cap. I know what I'm doing. I don't. Right, we're going to go ahead and advance one day, and then we're going to be playing at home against the Flyers. Oh, dear God. <laughs> and look what happened. You turned things around and won. At least in, with my challenge, you're going to have a... Uh, you should have a pretty good... Uh, manager, hopefully they rated him pretty good. Felipe Alou was a pretty good manager. All right, let's look at look at the Flyers. See what they are bringing in today. All right, so Carter Art, Felix Sandstrom, Opwell, Nagel, and Eddie Pasquale in net. York Nemeth, Provorov, Goldsmith, Ellis, Oakberg, Montour, Perbix, DeSimone, Clendening, Andy, Claude Giroux, in Philadelphia, Van Riemsdyk, Farabee, Debrusque, Willis Baines, Ant, Zarkov, Couturier, Ace, Patrick. Oh, Nolan Patrick is back in Philadelphia. That's interesting. Wisdom, Atkinson, Connickney, Addison, Forster, Red Love, Brink, and Artichuk. Oh, Felipe was such a sweet art, though. All right, we are going to be playing this game. Oh, God, we're not bringing all of our best players, are we? Carter Art is going to be a net for Philadelphia. Matt Murray in net for the Suns. And, of course, go, Suns, go. And we lost 3-2. We outshot Philadelphia 27-21. to Cam Atkinson was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Ben Roger was the second star with a goal. And James Van Riemsdyk was the third star with a, with a goal and an assist. 13,414 people in attendance for the game. <laughs> okay. If you gotta, you gotta, right? All right, so Sens opened up the scoring in the first period. Ben Rogers scored from Parker Kelly and Eric Engstrand. Then the Flyers tied the game. It was tied at one after one. Then in the second period, the Flyers scored. It was 2-1 Philadelphia after two. In the third period, we tied the game. Jacob Bernard Docker scored from Drake Batterson and Tim Stutzel. It was tied at two. And then uh, a little bit later, Flyers scored the game winner. It was a 3 2 loss for the Suns here. It is a preseason game, so I don't really care. Austin Matthews has a great preseason game. He had three goals and two assists against the Flames. 
Right now we're playing in Tampa Bay against the Lightning. Let's take a look, see what's uh, what they have here. Oh, I'm sure you're gonna be able to find some. All right, so uh, Tampa Bay has Miftaka, Vasilevsky, Petrozelli, Kakanen, Innet. Uh, Edmund, McDonough, Day, Donovan, Victor, Mete, Thompson, Radish, Saranac, and Sergachev uh, on D. Killorn, Rifors, Sumpy, Kachuk, sorry, Godet. Matthew Joseph, Forti, Piri, Point, Felaber, Moran, Cyrilli, Cormier, Maroon, Kucherov, Radish, Lipon, Prokop, Carpenter, Magna, Terry up front. Okay, they don't have Steven Semkos anymore. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play in Tampa Bay against the Lightning. We're gonna go with Mad Sogard in that again. And Amir Miftakov is going to be a net for Tampa Bay. And of course, go sends go. And we lost 4-1. That is not great. Yeah, but you need to look at center fielders and shortstops that you said, right? All right, so shots were tied at 29 uh, apiece. Victor Edman was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Some P was the second star with two assists as well. And Eric Sarnak was the third star with an assist. So Tampa Bay scored first in the first period. Then they added two more goals in the second. It was 3-0 Tampa Bay after two. Then in the third period, Angus Cruikshank scored from Eric Brandstrom and Mason Shaw. It was 3-1, but then Tampa Bay added one more goal and we lost 4-1. And Drew Cup has a good game still in Winnipeg. He had four assists against the Coyotes. Jacob Silverberg is hurt in Anaheim. He's going to miss three months with a torn hip labrum. Dynamic passing leads to productive night for Ilyash Peterson. He had four assists against Boston. And there was no stopping Anders Lee. He had a hat-trick against the Blackhawks. Uh, yeah, Viske, Omar Viskel you might be able to get for not too expensive. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and advance one day and then we're gonna be hosting the Jets. Now, we're 1-2 and two in preseason. As you know, I don't really pay attention to those records during preseason. It means nothing to me. Uh, scouting, all right. Winnipeg is offering up Joe Snively uh, on the trading block. There's been a trade between the Kraken and the Penguins. Marcus Johansson and the rights to Sergei Ivanov go to Pittsburgh for Anthony Angelo in a sixth round draft pick. And then a trade between uh, Toronto and Minnesota. Toronto traded a uh, Toronto got a second round draft pick from Minnesota for Michael Bunting. Oh, so Michael Bunting went and padded his stats in Toronto by playing next to Austin Matthews, and he got traded for a second. All right. Oh, and uh, for your challenge, I would appreciate if you give me some. Uh, if you give me some updates from time to time, like on Discord or something, just show me what your team looks like. I mean, you don't have to give me like every after every series or anything like that, but just like so I can see the changes that you're making to the team of my youth. All right, Winnipeg is in town. 
All right, so uh, Winnipeg has Eric Camry and uh, Connor Ellibuck in net. On D, they have Marcy, Inola, Matherin, Mar Oh, Joe Morrow is around and still in Winnipeg, apparently. Malyevin, Nate Schmidt, Luno, Shisom, Cochrane, Yubushkin. Up front, they have Cal Connor, Beauregard, Bjork, Shifley, Cup, and Jankowski, Dubois, Benson, Vilisek, Laurie, Gustafsson, Slinger. Wheeler, Ellers, Furcus, Ferran, Zimmer, and Green. No. I told you it's not a, it's just a, a challenge until I have the real challenge prepared. I, ju I just want to see how you're going to be able to do with a, uh, with a fan base that doesn't go in the stands with no money, with no pros real prospects to speak of. So, we'll see. I believe in you. All right, Connor Ellibug is going to be in net for the Jets. Mad Sogard back in net for the Suns. Go, Suns, go! And we won 5-2 against the Jets. The Jets outshot us 31-26 to as well. Eric Brandstrom was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Lassie Thompson was the second star with two assists. And Patrick Kane was the third star with two assists. 13,365 people in Ottawa for this game. Winnipeg opened up the scoring in the first, then Brady Kachuk tied a game from Patrick Kane and Thomas Shabbat tied at one after one. Then in the second period, Thomas Shabbat scored on the power play from Patrick Kane and Mason Schuff to give us the lead, then Winnipeg tied a game, and then Eric Brandstrom scored from Lassie Thompson and Josh Norris. It was a 3-2 lead for the Suns. At that point, we scored two more goals in the third period, Eric Brandstrom from Brady Kachuk and Doug Hamilton, and then Adam Goddard scored in an empty net from Drake Batterson and Lassie Thompson, 5-2 the final score. Yeah, the only setting that I want for you to use is the uh, the engine development system and not recalc because with recalc you can tell a little bit more who's going to turn out to be good or not. All right, so Shabbat got hurt in that game, but he's day to day, so that's not a, that a big deal. Big game for Alexis Sarella. He had a hat trick against the Rangers. The most sold jerseys in September for the Sens, Patrick Kane, Drake Patterson, Matt Murray, Thomas Shabbat, and Sim Stutzel. Top selling NHL jerseys for September, Austin Matthews is still first in the NHL. Alright, now we are at Madison Square Garden to play against the Rangers. Right, Rangers are going with Jack Campbell and Igor Shesterkin in net. Renan and Shea, Pickering, Brickley, Lundquist, Truba, Fox, Schneider, Kudryatsev, Edmondson, Russo on D. Lafrenia, Panarin, Batini, Lorito, Zibanejad, Strom, Bar Baron, Terence Korshak, Lawrence, Kreider, Kako, Kraftsov, Blair running, Pedriniemi, Kemper, and Archibald up front. Mm. I think it's better to use carrier play. All right, playing at Madison Square Garden against the Rangers. Matt Murray in net for the Sands. Jack Campbell in net for the Rangers. Go Sands! Oh, we lost 6-5 in overtime. We outshot the Rangers 43-33. Capo Caco was the first star of the game. He had a hat-trick. Dougie Hamilton was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Semi Blay was the third star with an assist. Uh, Dougie Hamilton opened up the scoring in the first from Tim Stutzel and Josh Norris. It was 1-0 Ottawa after one, uh, sorry, at that point. 
Then the Rangers tied the game. Then Pavel Mintsukov scored on the power play from Dougie Hamilton and Josh Norris. Then the Rangers tied the game again. It was 2-2 after one. Then in the second period, the Rangers scored twice, made it 4-2. Then we tied the game. Alex Formenton from Shane Pinto and Dougie Hamilton. And then Roby Yarventy from Brady Kachuk and Mason Shaw tied at 4 after 2. In the third period, we traded goals with the Rangers scoring first. Then Angus Crookshank scored on the power play from Mason Shaw and Eric Brandstrom tied at 5. That went to overtime where Capo Caco completed his hat trick with the game winner. We lost 6-5. I think we have two game, two preseason games left. Big game for Capo Caco. I know I was there. David Pasternak has a great game as well. He had five assists against Buffalo. Yeah, that's pretty good. E2 lose to Reinen, keeps fans on their feet all night in that same game. He had a hat trick. And then Cena Peters might be coming back soon. So are you setting up your your game with the expos uh, as we as we speak? Right, coach report on the new players. All right, Cena Peters is ready to go. Training camp. Oh, that I want to see. So, Mir Miroshnichenko, right? eating plus one, I don't care about that too much. Ooh, J Jacob Bernard Ducker, got quite a few things. Oh, yeah, that's true. I traded for him. Ooh, Kate Nilsson getting better. He's still a 0 0.5 player, but he's getting better. Oh, a step checker as well. Yep. Ooh, Slavkovsky is uh, <laughs> got a lot. Although that plus two in fighting, I don't really care about. But stamina, shooting accuracy, yeah, a lot of good stuff. I don't really care how many tickets we sold. Don't really care about that either. All right, so yeah, two preseason games left. Uh, today we are hosting San Jose, and then we're gonna play in Carolina. All right, San Jose uh, has Melnichuk and Aiden Hill in net. Then they have Joel, Joel, Joel Levy, Nyadzev, Anderson, Edward, Ekran, Bratton, Kulikov, Delzato. Burns, Carlson, Manson, Moberg, Reinhardt on D. Then up front they have Stefan Mato, Jonathan Dallin, Gadjavich, Gruter, Eklund, Nieto, Kutcher, Shore, Thomas Ertel, Levis Gayet, uh, Levy Gayet, Richie, LeBanc, Meyer, Parr, Gregor, and McLennan. Right, Alexei Melnichuk is going to be a net for San Jose. We're going to go with Mad Sogard. Go, Suns, go! And a nice 5 2 victory here. We outshot San Jose 37 to 18. Josh Norris was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Nino Niedretter was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Igor Sokolov was the third star with a goal and an assist. 
12,815 people in attendance for this game. Josh Norris opened up the scoring in the first from Doug Yandleton and Brady Kachuk. 1-0 Sands after one. Then in the second period, San Jose tied the game and then we scored four goals. Uh, Ridley Gregg from Cole Reinhardt and Nino Niedretter. Then Igor Sokolov from Angus Cruikshank and Mason Shaw. Josh Norris from Neil Pionk and Jacob Bernard Ducker. Then Nino Niedretter from Igor Sokolov. It was 5-1 at that point. San Jose added one more goal. It was 5-2. Yeah, because the Expos moved in 2005. All right, uh, there was some fighting in the second period. Uh, Ridley Gregg fought Eric Carlson. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the former Sen captain got into a scrap with a Sen's rookie, Ridley Gregg and Eric Carlson. And then Patrick Kane got into a fight with Stefan Matto. What is going on, folks? <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. There's no stopping Kevin Fiala still in Minnesota. He had four goals against Toronto. Then the final game of preseason is going to be against Carolina. Thomas Shabbat might be coming back soon. Right, let's take a look at the hurricanes before we face them. Oh, that's not exactly where I wanted to look. There we go. Right, hurricanes have Kochetkov, Makiniemi, and Leon in net. On DDF, Brady Shea, Slavin, Inkley, Drapeau, Johnson, Gormley, Pesci, Keane, Warren, Bear. And then up front, they have Svechnikov, Kotkaniemi, Seth Jarvis. Laro Steenbergen, Brickley, Taze, Trocek, Suzuki, Ponomaryov, Au Meters, Agania, Klinberg, Martinuk, Teravainen, Nishash, Fass, Fizzer, and Wall. Mad Sogard in net for the Suns, uh, Pyotr Kochikov in net for Carolina. Go Suns! And we lost 7-6 in overtime. We all shot Carolina 36-32. Ryan Suzuki was the first star of the game. He had three goals and an assist. Drake Batterson was the second star with two assists. And Ethan Bear was the third star with two assists. All right, so Carolina scored first in the first period. Then Quinn Olsen scored from Clark Bishop and Dougie Hamilton. Then Mason Shaw from Drake Batterson and Artem Zub. 2-1 Ottawa. At that point, then Carolina tied the game, and then Artem Zub scored from Nick Paul and Philip Daou. It was a 3 2 lead for the Sens after one. Then in the second period, Carolina tied the game. Then we had Jake Sanderson score short handed from Nick Paul and Brady Kachuk. Gave us the lead again, but then the Carolina Hurricanes tied the game. It was 4 4 heading into the third period. Jake Sanderson scored from Tim Stutzel and Drake Batterson. Then uh, Carolina scored, made it 5-5. Then Brady Kachuk scored, gave us the lead again from Artem Zub and Thomas Shabbat. And then Carolina tied the motherfucking cycling game yet again. It was tied at 6. That went to overtime. Nobody scored. In the shootout, Ryan Suzuki and Patrick Kane scored. But then Zvechnikov scored and Mason Shaw missed. So we did not score. Uh, we did not win, sorry. And that was a 7-6 loss in the shootout. All right, Ryan Suzuki lights the lamp, as we saw, three goals and an assist. Red light stays on for Alex Ovechkin. He had four goals against the Flames. Shabbat almost recovered, and yeah... No, I, I need to figure out what I do. Okay, I'm gonna advance one day.
Oof. So many players on waivers. Right, Thomas Shabbat is recovered. Ooh, Toronto wants to trade John Tavares. Jake Evans was waived by Montreal. Cole Bardrow waived by Detroit. Matt Villalta likely done in LA. Uh, Braden Burke was waived as well. Aiden Dudas. Uh, I don't think I'm going to say all of those names. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, players put on waivers. But I'm going to look at the trade between the Canucks and the Flyers. Tucker Pullman goes to the Flyers for a fourth. And then I'm going to just delete all messages. All right, it's time for me to decide whom I am keeping on for the season. I'm gonna keep Murray and Gustafsson. They're both on one-way deals, so that's what wins by default. I think I'm gonna loan this guy to ILV. All right, defenseman. Right, Espiro goes down. Jake Sanderson goes down for now. Mintsukov. Gennett. I I almost found me. Tyler Clevin. Ben Roger. And Chandler Romeo. Okay, so that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Doesn't look too bad. My oldest defenseman is Dougie Hamilton at 30 years old. My D doesn't look too uh, too shabby. All right, and now we're gonna look at forwards. I'm gonna need to uh, take this, uh, make decisions. All right, so Nielsen gets sent down. He's an alpha star. Same for Engstrom. I guess I can loan him. Okay, the Chloe gets down. When Olson goes down, and Zaka Stapchuk. Now here's the tough part. All right, so okay, I need to keep two of my two stars players. I think I'm gonna keep Slavskovsky. Then I get to keep one more. Think your Vinci goes down. I gotta wanna keep Car Parker Kelly up. 
I don't have many players with this skill set. I think I'm gonna keep Ridley Gregg. I have decided on my team. Alrighty. Let's advance until our first game. There's going to be games until then. We start late for some reason. I don't know if anybody's going to get clean. Some of my players had to go through waivers. So how badly have you been butchering my Expos team over there? You're, you've been very quiet. Ryan Pulling claimed off uh, waivers by Nashville. Jake, oh, Jake Evans was claimed by the Carolina Hurricanes. That's funny. The Hurricanes keep keep trolling the Habs. Rafael Harvey Pinard was uh, claimed by Colorado. <laughs> David Siggy is now a right fielder. Who did you move? Oh, did you move Vladimir Guerrero? Wait. Just being quiet i'm just reading well brad fulmer did play for the expos in real life Zadina has been put on waivers by the Red Wings. All right, so I don't play until the 14th, so we're just going to advance.
Wow, somebody finally claimed Colin Blackwell of waivers. I think that was the seven millionth time in my save that he's been put on waivers. The stars finally claimed him. Oh, Caden Primo signed in Montreal. Oops, the pay my payroll exceeds the salary cap. Oh, by $26,000, are you kidding me? $26,000. I'm waving at him, got it. And I'm recalling Parker Kelly. Oops. There we go, we should be good. All right. There we go. We are now compliant. Cooper Marodi is on waivers, Dimitri Samorukov is on waivers, Mason Appleton is on waivers, and Connor Carrick is on waivers. Stevens doesn't clear waivers, claimed by the Canadians, so Devante Stevens is now in Montreal, Red Wings claim Noah Joseon. There was a train between Toronto and Boston. Second round draft pick for Peter Mrazek. Well, Peter Mrazek goes to Boston for a second round draft pick. Trade, be trade between Vancouver and Detroit. Matthew Imore goes to the Red Wings for a second round draft pick. Uh, all right, and then a trade between Washington and Montreal. Ooh, what are the Habs doing? You traded Mark. What did you get for Mark Grzelanek? Connor Sheary goes to the Montreal Canadiens for a third round draft pick. So Connor Sheary is now a Montreal Canadian. He had a 33 point season last season in Washington. Benji Gill. Right, the Islanders claimed uh, Connor Carrick. All right. Oh, the 2023 NHL season preview. All right, with the National Hockey League season about to get underway, the early Stanley Cup favorites appear to be the Rangers, led by winger Artemi Panarin. G General Manager Chris Drury has built a squad that will be the team to beat this year, but they can expect challenges from Ken Allen's Edmonton Oilers and Colorado, featuring center Nathan McKinnon. Among the dark horses, Toronto <laughs> Toronto stands out as a possible challenger with a big season by Austin Matthews capable of pushing them into contender status. In the scoring race will likely see Edmonton's Connor McDavid challenged by Austin Matthews of Toronto and Edmonton's Liam Dreisaitl. The top defenseman in the league is generally considered to be Colorado Avalanche blue liner Kale McCarr with New York's Adam Fox and Victor Edmond of Tampa Bay also in the running. 
Finally, among goaltenders, Winnipeg's Connor Ellibuck stands out as the league's best, while Boston Bruins netminder Jeremy Swayman and Joseph Coronar of Arizona can also steal games for their team. Oh, Mitch Marner is hurt. He's gonna out, be out for a whopping three days. Right, Marcus Peterson has been put on waivers by Pittsburgh and Cameron Lee as well from the same team. All right, we're gonna sim one more day and then we're gonna be at the start of the our October calendar, I suppose. Who are you playing in center field? Did you find somebody that has enough range? Could William Nylander be traded? So William Nylander has been put on the block by the Leafs. That's the second year in a row that they do that. And I am going to go ahead and save my game. All right, so the next stream, should, I'm gonna stop here for today. So the next stream should be Pretty short, I think. I'm only gonna do October, probably. Oh, I forgot that Rondell White is still there. I thought you were stuck with Ryan Church. I guess he came in a little bit later. Or worse, stuck with Terry Jones. If you've never heard of those names before, there's a good reason. Now, Rondell White is a decent player for sure. He has some speed. Yeah. As I remember, he doesn't really have a really good arm, but uh, he can get on base some speed, that a little bit of pop in his bat, d good defense, just not a great arm. All right, so I save the game. Next time off, we're gonna be playing October. FJ, keep me updated, please, on the challenge that I gave you. And of course, I wanna thank you for tuning in. And if you're catching this lead later on YouTube and that you somehow like this video because I feel like I was a little disconnected, I didn't do a whole lot other than simming and simming and simming, well, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you folks next time. Thank you.